I never get tired of the way they say that, especially the way Wario says it. All right. Hooray theme parks! It's actually not even all that great of a theme park, really. All the good rides are about three stories below the area where we actually get to walk around. I suppose that's all right. I know I skipped through it super quick, but that little thing about... I love amusement parks is the same thing that was in the board description for the Mario Party 1 customized version. Actually, the very first board I saw being made with Party Planner, Party Planner 64, uh, back before it actually was released to the public, was a remake of a different Mario Party 4 board. I believe it was the Shy Guy one. Shy Guy's Jungle Getaway, or whatever the heck it's called. Jam. It was called Jungle Jam. And just to show you guys here, I have brought in the experts. That's right, we're not messing around with specialists anymore. Kind of reminds me of that one auto-tune the news where, uh, basically, the president just listed off a whole bunch of things and described them as butt-kicking experts. Uh, some such and such expert, Lollipop Guild expert, Wario expert, Peach expert, Wario expert. Since we're back to playing Mario Party 4, can't resist uh, doing my little, I don't know, maybe we'll call it the uh, taunting whammy bar. Man, you guys are going through your turns too quickly. I don't get to mess around with it as much. This is sad, Yoshi. This is happy, Yoshi. This is middling Yoshi. And oh man, I don't want to go over there. Now I'm behind every... Oh wait, right, he just goes to my space. So all I gotta do is win this minigame and get a high roll on the next turn, and I'm golden. This is the puzzle one, right? So there's that one with the flip book, but that's in seven. Yeah, it's the puzzle one. This would be super crazy easy if there wasn't twisting, but I think the whole point is it would be like a five minute minigame if there wasn't twisting. Um, no? Alright. I do like the idea of a moving puzzle, those are kind of neat. There's like a lot of apps out there for random puzzles and whatnot. I don't really play any of them though, and oh my gosh! <gasps> oh no! I noticed that two of us were on the last piece, and I was just like tapping the A button, hopefully I was close enough for it to just lock into place, but nope. Get ready for more close finishes like that. Because I was kind of thinking last time I did win a bit too easily, so I thought I'd try and make things slightly more difficult for myself. Yay, we have items again! Actually, anyone gets in front of me and it looks like they're going to get the star, I can smush them so they can't get the star. More than likely pass over the star myself and not get the star, but... I don't know, maybe maybe it'll just be a way to run out the clock, I suppose. I hit F4, and then I remember that F4 doesn't speed up the game anymore. It just loads a... it attempts to load a save state that isn't there, because instead of going into the menus and changing slots on the... Uh, you know, like you would in some other emulators, Dolphin just has, like, X1 through 8, I think, are all save state related things. Alright, well, Wario just talked his way out of getting a star. Hmm, a team game. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Oh, darn, I was about to say a luck-based team game, more or less, but nope, we're doing this. The super nice graphics on the water and super unrealistic fake water that's on top. And why do I have to go first? I guess it doesn't really matter. Crap. I pressed the B button on my controller, which is actually the X button. Because it more closely resembles the actual GameCube controller layout. That time I pressed B. 
it's it's a complicated thing, and we are a solid line behind. Cause, well, screwed again. There's these types of mini games ha appear, and I think there's at least one of these in every GameCube Mario Party, and it always favors the one because I think it's way easier to go fast when you have all your buttons right in a row right in front of you. Okay, so I could hope I don't get a high enough number. Actually, that's exactly what I'm going to do. There's no point in Mega Mushrooming when there's no one to Mega, mega Mushroom up and uh, be stealing a damn coins. As gimmicky as it is, the Mini Mega system I think is kind of neat. It gives a different atmosphere for strategic measurings. I don't even know what I'm saying. Mario's going off the deep end, and by that I mean into space that didn't exist on the other board that we played that one time. And by that one time you mean a week ago. You know. I'm surprised no one's been getting mushrooms. Like, normally the board's kind of littered with them, so at any given time someone has at least one of them, but... Yes, it hasn't been the type of game we've been playing thus far. Okay. This game is okay. I'm not sure how confident I'm feeling about my odds of winning this. I just have to be able to avoid the two boulders. And if I do that, I will more than likely win, although it's still up for debate. Um, A button. My controller, it disconnected. What the heck, game? Why you gotta screw me over like that? Maybe Peach will get hit by the rock and die, and no one will get any money at all. Man, that sucked. Totally could have won that game, but the controller decided to randomly disconnect in the middle of the minigame. I know, that's entirely my fault, and I should have noticed, but gee whiz. Well, this means Peach is almost certainly going to be getting that star, but at least I can squish some cash out of her. Yeah, pretty much we wanted anyone but Peach to win, now that I think about it. Eh, I was kind of hoping to roll low enough so I could go to the lottery shop, but it is what it is. Ooh! Hang on a second. If it's at least a 10-point uh, coin battle minigame... And Peach does not come in first or second, she'll be stuck at... Oh, whoops. Oh, good. I was tapping the button trying to get through all that dialogue and accidentally picked a minigame before I meant to, but this is an okay minigame. It's better than rumble fishing. I'd rather be on edge. I don't want to be that on edge. That's what I should say. But yeah, as long as Peach doesn't come in first or second, she will be edged out of getting the next star. But I need to stop falling. Yeah, I know I can go slow, but slow and steady ain't winning this race. Just gotta hope I get the good path. Peach got the good path. She's already on second. Peach is gonna friggin' get second place, isn't she? Yep. And uh, we may as well stop playing, because none of us are gonna get any money out of this. Normally I'm relatively good at that minigame, but it's also, you know, when I've been playing for a while and thus I've had a little bit of recent playing experience. That was probably the first time I played that minigame in a couple of months. And the professor's current minigame win total holds at zero. I will admit, prior to Recording, just to be sure, I was like, is, is three experts a good idea? Maybe we'll just do one expert. So I tried minigame mode against three experts and was highly successful. So I was like, let's do it. Three experts, zero wins in 
however many turns that we've been going on for, because I don't know for sure. I would say Peach has been getting super lucky in order to be getting to where she is, but honestly, she hasn't really been having needing luck that much. And oh boy! Battle Mini Games favor those with fewer coins, although that also speaks to Daisy. I mean, Peach, so I don't know how I feel about this. Do we play a good Battle Mini Game? Oh my gosh, really? You want a rematch? Why can't we get, like, the butterfly catching one, because that's the best one? Or Bowser's Bigger Blast? That one's not the best one, but it's a lot of fun, because you get to just hide and go boom. Yeah, I know that's the name of another mini game. All right, this time I made it to the second screen without falling. I'm gonna slow down on these curves. I am in first place, but slightly behind Beach. Do I get the good one? Okay, no, I didn't. I always thought you were supposed to switch off uh, to get the right type of thing, and oh my gosh, I'm gonna win. Yeah, boy! That's what I'm talking about. I just needed a little bit of experience. Also, Peach's shadow. Wait a minute. My shadow is present on everyone else's screen. How does that work? Are we all existing on the same plane, but we're all invisible to each other and just kind of ghost through each other? Or maybe the game's just replicating everyone else's screens on top of each other when someone wins. I I'm, I'm talking out of my mouth and I have no idea what I'm saying again. <laughs> But, Battle Minigame was all it took to put me in a much more favorable position. Sorry, I need to be doing Happy Yoshi when I'm in a favorable position such as this one. Mario, why are you megaing up? Oh wait, Mario hit the happening space, so the arrows face the same way, so you can smush him, but only for seven coins, so it's barely worth it. I mean, he didn't buy it for five coins, but that's how much those things are worth. Maybe he just wanted the extra movement. I do that sometimes. I feel you, bro. Okay. This one is a major toss-up, I would say. Every once in a while, I put in a really good performance on this minigame, but uh, I think a lot of times it just ends up uh, depending on how good my starting position is, because I kind of just like to stand still and hope that my computer AI ally isn't a complete moron and scares all the fish away. When I want the yellow one. I'm not leaving until I have three fish. Alright, I have three fish. Did I get the yellow one? No, I did not. They all, the other team already has the yellow one, so I think this game's already over. Come on, really? I've been right next to the yellow one, like, so many times. I think it's worth three. Yeah, this game is, is so over. Finish. That was kind of a blowout. Guess I needed to start working faster, but I'm still gonna blame my ally anyway because I was picking up fish and then he started just waltzing around all traipsing about the place and scaring the fish away. I do not remember the loading time being this long. Maybe I should close some programs down. Eh, but I've already started recording, I kinda don't want to do that. By the way, where's the star? Alright, oh, it's down. On the on the track of a jigger. All right, I was gonna be pretty disappointed if the magic lamp was available in the store and I was one coin shy of being able to afford it. All right, so if I go down, I'll eventually get to the star. Easy peasy. Just gotta hope Peach doesn't get there first because Peach has the inside track. Does she actually have enough to get the star? Oh my gosh, she does! This is ridiculous, with exactly enough coins. Okay, now I'm attributing her current position to luck. 
I mean, she's only out in front by two stars, but this could potentially get out of hand. Man, I should have gone the other way, but how was I supposed to know she was going to roll a nine? So she's landed on Bowser with zero coins. Does she get money? Yes, she does, but only ten, but that's still... Ugh. 